January 5th, and today the church celebrates the feast of John Neumann, the Archbishop of Philadelphia, who was born and raised in Bohemia, modern-day Germany, and emigrated to the United States, having felt a call to serve God's people. It was here in the United States, which was truly then mission territory, that he was ordained and that he was raised to the episcopate, becoming the Bishop of Philadelphia. Now, my dear friends of Christ, he was a very humble man, and he realized that in order to reach and to connect with those immigrant communities whom he was called to serve here, he would need to be able to communicate with them. And you and I know both full well that whenever anyone comes into another country, they don't necessarily enter speaking the new language fluently if at all. St. John Newman took it on himself to learn the languages of the immigrant community so that he could not only communicate with them, but catechize them, hear their confessions, absolve them in their own native language, give them the Eucharist and pray the Mass in their own native tongue. He was so very willing to put himself on the line and to spend himself that he lived with such immense humility toward the end of his life. He had heard that there was some talk that people in the Episcopal circles might very well think that he wanted to resign. And when he heard this talk, he thought that he must have displeased the Holy Father in some way, and that his resignation was sought after by the Holy Father. It was quite the opposite, in fact. But nevertheless, his humility led him to think that he would be better suited to serve a country like diocese, a diocese where there was economic loss and, and great need, as opposed to the, as he called it, the cultured elite of Philadelphia. Nevertheless, he remained where he was out of humility and out of obedience and served and left a great mark on the, on the Archdiocese of Philadelphia and on the surrounding areas. He really is a a hometown hero, and one that you and I can look up to with great humility of our own. Yes, you and I, we too are called to humility, because when we stand before our God, we realize that we are nothing, and we only have anything and everything because of Him. And so today, saints in the making, when you and I take some time for prayer, let us, through the intercession of St. John Neumann, let us ask him for the grace, to pray for the grace of humility, that we might be truly grounded, as St. John Neumann was. And you and I can be grounded in our Lord, my dear friends of Christ, when you and I make space for grace.